Good morning, vlog family. Jen here. I am not coming into focus. There we go. Uh, coming at you from Saskatoon. So you probably saw my travel yesterday. I didn't really vlog once I got down just because I had about a 2.5 hour drive and then another 2.5 hour drive after that. And it was a long day. It was like a 17 hour day. So yeah, needless to say, I was tired when I got to the hotel. It was 8.30, which was 10.30 my time, and I had left at 5.45 in the morning, so it was a long day. Um, I kind of got upgraded every single leg of the trip, which you probably saw, but I also got a massive upgrade within my hotel room, too. So I'm gonna kind of show you quickly, just a quick overview, but you can see bed, couch, kitchen, like huge, massive area, and then, the pièce de résistance, which I did fully use yesterday. Huge bathroom with a big soccer tub. I used that yesterday. I needed it after such a long travel day. It was very much necessary. My back was killing me. Uh, I just got hair up in a bun today. Uh, I'm doing an install, so I don't really fix my hair fancy or anything like that just because um, at some point it's gonna get messed up anyways. Um, OOTD is just me in a some capris and a work branded <laughs> um, polo. I'll also try and give you a quick shot. I'm on the 10th floor of my hotel so We'll see if you guys like the view. It is Saskatoon, so I mean, there's not a whole bunch to see. And it's extremely flat, so it just keeps going on and on. But this is the most trees I've seen in the area when you're actually outside of the city. It's just all prairie. So I'll try and get a prairie shot for you guys at one point. I'll talk to you later. I gotta go meet my coworker. Take care. Bye. When you're sitting in your hotel room and you see a hot air balloon passing by in the sunset. Super pretty. Very random, but pretty. have up their game. Sorry, I grabbed a to-go uh, breakfast so that I can have that on the road. Because who knows when we're going to have lunch today. Um, but yeah. For your safety, security, we recommend you hide your room number. Hide room number for sure. But uh, Hilton now on their app, I don't know if it will show up or not, it is it has a digital key so you just put it onto your phone and you're able to use your phone to end, uh, open your door and whatnot. I know myself, I am notorious. Everywhere I'm going, you're seeing my butt. You don't want that. So um, I'm notorious for always demagnetizing my keys because they always come into contact with my phone or I just forget and put it next to my phone. So it's nice that you can actually do it ahead of time and get it onto your phone ahead of time. And you don't even have to go to the front desk, really. It's on your phone. You just go up to your room. So, great little tip if you have, a, uh, if you're going to be staying at a Hilton, get your Hilton honors, sign up for it online, and if it's available in the uh, the building, and it's usually buildings that do have the tap uh, to enter the room, not the slide cards. But if you have that, and this is available, it makes your life that much easier. Talk to you later. <laughs>
And a Jamie. Hello. <laughs> yes. So we're just gonna do a little hike up to the old train trellis. This is what we're doing. So we'll see how that goes. Mm. Yum. <laughs> I feel like Pennywise is gonna come out. Next level. And flash flood. So this is a trail that is a bit more to, our, st to our standards, <laughs> that we can actually walk it and not die or have a heart attack or skin your knee. Well, you can still probably skin your knee if you're clutch like I am, mm -hmm. but hopefully that will not come to pass. Oh, look at those houses. Oh, yeah, they're all mansions on the side of that. Normally you can walk out to almost out there, there's like little rock islands. One of those houses. Come on, I don't even know if it does it justice on this. Now you guys can see the Olympic range. Almost looks like it's uh, clouds or something. Yeah. We can go look and see if there's any otters down here. <laughs> there's the barf bucket. What do you have to say about the barf bucket, Hugo? That was what he did. Lots of mountains. That's the boat that you take from Victoria to Seattle.
story, probably 1600 to 1800 square feet. And if you look at the bottom of them, they each have their own individual concrete before the dock. And that concrete you see in the case is very large bales of styrofoam. And then you see these vertical rusty columns here. At the bottom of them, they have like a collar with rollers on it. So they'll simply move up and down those columns with the tide. They'll simply in the night and the oh. You wouldn't see them. They would be the, you wouldn't see the mountains. You wouldn't see the cruise Oh, there's an honor there. down in prime tourist season too, right? Yeah. Well, like, she, like you said, you're like, you have to be comfortable with your life being on. Like you can see in people's houses, right? yeah. yeah. That's kind of cool because like everyone has like a unique character to their house. Yeah. <laughs> and this is called, this is Harbor Bay? Yeah, Fisherman's Wharf. Fisherman's Wharf. And it's all boats. Oh, it's In Victoria, it's always a must to come down to the Fisherman's Wharf to see all the eccentric and really colorful houseboats, as well as partake in some of apparently the best fish and chips you'll have in your life. Mm -hmm. And where are they at? What's the name of the place? I can't remember. Olives? No, it's not with a B. But there's a fish and chip place down at the Fisherman's Wharf that apparently you're supposed to go and try out. We'll walk right by. We'll walk right by it. Yeah, it shows you where you go, where all the whales are. And here is the crazy part of the wharf. And this is where you catch the ferries. But it's a busy Barb's. The seafood place that you have to go to is called Barb's. Barb's, that's it. I knew it started with a B. My favorite part is 
Yeah. Gems. Yeah. 